So let's talk a little bit about the organization of your desktop. We, in an earlier video, we told you how to create these different groups. To, for example, this group here is the Windows Live group, for example. This one here is Utilities, Notepad and Calculator. Here's the Internet group, and we have a game group over here. We've only put a few things together just to give you a demonstration. So let's say you want to name these so you have uh, some sort of uh, sanity to your organization. So let's go down to the bottom right corner and click on the minus sign and you'll see your desktop shrinks down to this view. You may have more and more groups out here, almost infinite number of groups out here. But you notice if you hover over it, it highlights. Now if you click on it, you'll jump to that group. But if you right click on it, you'll get the same kind of checkbox you get when you when you right click on an icon or a tile and it'll say name group. You simply go into here and say Oh, this one's going to be games and say name let's say this one over here we right click there and we say name group and this is called internet and let's right click on this one and call this one utilities utilities okay I'm not going to bother with the other ones for right now, but now when we click on the, the desktop and we go back to the desktop, you'll see that the name of the group is right there. So you can keep these organized. You might have one for Word, for example, for all your Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all the Office applications. You might have it called MS Office. It's however you want to. You can arrange these in groups, and then you can turn around and name those groups to keep it uh, logical for yourself. Once you have your uh, groups created and everything you may want to have this group uh, in a different place so you just grab the group and you drag it to where you want and you can move your groups around that way entire sets of icons so that when you go back to it now games is over here uh, that's all you have to do is just grab it put it in the minimize view grab it there and drop it there